Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Cassie. Thank you all so much for stopping by. It really means the world to me. So as you guys seen in the title, today's video, I am going to be unboxing my winter Fab Fit Fun. Now, whoop. Now I do have this massive box here. I did some add-ons and whatnot as well. So I will be going through all the add-ons, all the fun stuff that I got for winter. I did do a couple of unboxings, I think a couple months ago of my first FabFitFun. It was like a starter box and then I did an unboxing of the favorites box. So this is now my first official FabFitFun box. I did sign up for the yearly subscription. So if you are interested in seeing what I got inside of here, then definitely keep on watching. Okay guys, before I dive into the box, I just want to let you know what FabFitFun is. It is a subscription that does have like beauty items and lifestyle items, lots of fun different things. Um, I know I do a lot of like beauty subscription, makeup subscriptions, but this one is nice because you do get some of that, but as well as the lifestyle items, kind of like a boxy luxe, but more lifestyle. Now, this is a four times a year quarterly subscription. You can pay each quarter for $49.99 or if you are an annual member you pay $44.99. Now I do the annual and it ends up being I think $179.99 is what I signed up for and you do get perks. You get your box earlier as well as you get to customize more products than the people who pay as they go. So with that being said, I'm really excited to see what I got in my first real box and my add-ons. I did several beauty add-ons from Jouer. I think most of them are from. So let's go ahead and see what I got right on top. I'm going to go ahead and take all this bubble wrap out first. Okay, so I got everything pulled out. These right here are my add-ons. And the first thing here is a Wakesy Bundle Candy Cane 2 thing. So what it is, is from what I read, I guess I'm not 100% sure what exactly it is. But um, you've got your little cup here and then you have your wax. And it's like candy cane wax, which is super cute. So then you just put the wax in here and you microwave it in the microwave. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you microwave it in the microwave, just so you know. Anyways, you warm it up in the microwave and then, yeah, go from there. So I thought, you know what, why not try it? I think this is only like 12 bucks or something. And I thought it was cute that they had like candy cane wax. So I went ahead and did this. Unfortunately, my receipt doesn't say what I paid for each of these, but I'm pretty sure it was like $12 for this one. And then I did go ahead and do a Jouer Longwear Lip Creme. And this is in the shade Rose Gold. Now I haven't tried one of these lips from Jouer, but they did look cute. So this here is what it looks like. Really pretty. I just love the packaging of Jouer. And here's what it looks like. Really cute. I've been purchasing a lot of Jouer products lately, and I've really loved them. So the one side, if you see here, comes up a little farther. And I don't know, just really cool packaging. I really like that. I don't remember exactly, but I believe I only paid $9 for this. And then I went ahead and did the Lucky and Luminous Crema Highlighter Palette. Now, I guess I didn't realize this was cream highlighter. I thought it was going to be a powder, but that's okay because I don't have a whole ton of cream anything. I have some cream like blushes and highlighters, but not a ton. 
So here is what it looks like. You do have a nice mirror in the palette and the four shades are right there. I do really like these colors. They're very pretty. I am really excited for this. I want to say this was like around $16, maybe $18, which wasn't too bad, but I wanted to try more from Jouer anyways, so really happy I was able to pick that up. Then I picked up the Essentials Jet Set from Jouer, and it's just a small little eyeshadow palette with a brush, and I just thought it was pretty perfect for traveling. I don't want to swatch all these because I might do some of these as giveaways or put them aside for gifts, something like that. But I just thought for the price, these really weren't that bad. And I do really enjoy Jouer as a brand. So I thought this was really pretty everyday palette. I might just go ahead and give this one to my mom because perfect colors for her. And I do really like that it comes with a brush. And then the last add-on that I did here is another Jouer palette. Go figure, right? I know. I did like all Jouer products, but I was really excited to see all these makeup items. I love the brand, so I was really excited. This is the Metamorphosis Face and Eye Palette. So here is kind of a picture of what it looks like on the back protective thing over it. It has butterflies. And here is what it looks like. So pretty. So you do have, of course, your nice mirror there. And these are the shades. I love them. So you have your highlight, your blush, and then your eyeshadows. And it does come with a little brush. Of course, not a not a very nice brush, but that's okay. Anyways, I want to say I paid probably 16 to 18 dollars for this one as well but i am really excited for this i think it is a really pretty palette i do enjoy the colors and i always love face and eye palettes just a mixture again for traveling taken to work whatever really really nice really excited for this and i think all together for all of these add-ons it cost me like 62 dollars, so it wasn't too bad and now let's go ahead and open up our fab fit fun box okay, so here is the winter box i don't really know how it's supposed to go i think yep it's supposed to open like here so i will go ahead and cut her open so i'm having issues guys okay so a real quick sneak peek. This is what it looks like when you first open it up. And I am super excited for my very first official FabFitFun box. All right, so right away we do have our little booklet right here with a beautiful woman right on the front. It's Katie Couric. Gorgeous. Okay, so right on top, I do see a stack of like coupons. I see a FabFitFun sticker, um, wine coupon, HBO Max. We have a HelloFresh coupon, lots of good stuff. So to start, I just want to go over the categories of choices for you guys. What was an option and then what I picked and so forth like that. The first option that everybody got to pick from, whether you are a seasonal member or annual member, was the Vera Bradley Compact Organizer. Now it was a pink like makeup type organizer and that does retail for $50. Now I thought that one was kind of cute, but is it something I'm really gonna use? Probably not. I've bought these before and I never end up using them. I have like a big travel bag that when I do travel, I just use that. So this one to me just didn't seem like a good option. And then they had the Unhide Little Marshmallow that retailed for $65. This one, honestly, I was thinking about it. I really liked it. I was like, I love blankets. They look really soft, but truthfully, I have so many blankets that I do not need anymore. My closet is filled with 
little throws and stuff like that that I just don't need anymore. I don't. So I went ahead and passed on that one. But if you got it, I'm sure you will love it. It looks super cozy. And then the next one was the Bomshi Throne Champagne Flute Set of Four. Now this one did retail for $51. They look very pretty, very nice. Um, I went ahead and passed on those though because I don't need any more dishes and glasses, anything like that. I really don't need it, but they did look very nice. So I'm sure if you did choose those, they will be a great option as well. Honestly, these are all good options depending on what you need, you know? And then the next one is the Summer and Rose Cozy Robe. And that one retailed for $70. And then the Lolly Beauty Tea Seed Elixir which retails for $42. And then the Kate Spade New York Rise and Shine Stud Earring Set of Two retail for $68. And then the Mobile White Advanced Teeth Whitening Kit for $89.99. Now between all of those, I was between the teeth whitening, the robe, and the Kate Spade earrings. Now, I decided to wean it down on what I needed. Now, the whitening kit, I do like whitening kits. Um, truthfully, I had to tone myself down because a few years ago, I used whitening kits way too much and my teeth got very sensitive. So I definitely watch myself on how much I use of those. But I didn't really like that the kit only had two uses in it. So I decided to cut that one out right away. And then I was like... I really like the robe. I really like the earrings. What should I do? And then I thought, well, I have three different robes and they're from Victoria's Secret. When I'm home, I'm in a robe. I love to be warm. I'm cold all the time. So that is what I do when I'm home. And my bathrobes are very cozy, very warm. And this one just didn't look as warm to me. Now, maybe it is, maybe I'm wrong, but it just didn't seem as warm as my ones that I have. So I was like, you know what, pass on that. Let's get the earrings. I don't have many earrings. That's one thing I really don't buy much. So I did go ahead and did the Kate Spade earrings, which are right here. They come in a beautiful dust bag. I really love Kate Spade as a brand. I have multiple purses and stuff from them. So I really, I really enjoy the brand a lot. And these are super pretty. Look at the cute. And here is what they look like. Very pretty, just like clear crystals. And then you have your pearls right on the bottom. Love these. Like I said, I don't have many earrings, so these will be perfect for me. So on to the next category. Now this next one, everybody had an option to pick from again. We had the option to pick from the Lily Pulitzer ceramic mugs set of two. These were beautiful mugs. So gorgeous. Love them so much. Now these retail for $42. And then the Cadell Vinosaurus Moisturizing Sorbet, which retailed for $39. That one looked really cute and interesting as well. And then the Murad Rapid Collagen Infus Infusion, which is $78. And I love Murad. Anything Murad, I love it. They're such a good brand. We see them all the time. So whoever got that, I'm sure you are going to love it. And then the Alginist Complete Eye Renewal Balm, which retails for $68. And then Lucky Brand Solid Brush Scarf for $69.50. And the Impressions Vanity Company LED Vanity Mirror, which retails for $45. Now, all of these in this category sounded really good to me. And I kind of broke it down to, do I want the mugs? Do I want the mirror? Because I have so much skincare, truthfully, don't need any more. I know I'm going to get more because of all my subscriptions, but if I have an option, I'm not going to pick it. So I went between the mugs and the mirror and I love mugs. I'm a coffee drinker all the time, every day. I can't live without it. But I decided to go ahead with the mirror because, I don't know, it just looked nice. It's from Impressions Vanity and 
super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and open this for you and show you. I'm I'm really glad that I got this mirror actually because this is such a clear mirror. So beautiful. So yeah, for $45, I mean, I kind of thought it was gonna be a little bigger, but truthfully, the quality of it is so good. And then what I like is it does come with batteries, which I put in the box somewhere here, or you can plug it in for the light. So either way, whatever you wanna do, Perfect. Really nice. Love this. Definitely a good option. The mirror would be a perfect gift option for Christmas too because anybody really would like one of these. Now let's move on to option number three. And this is another one that everybody got to choose from annual or seasonal members. Now the first item that you had to choose from was the Ilia Beauty Limitless Lash Mascara, which retails for $28. Now, I heard this mascara is pretty good from what I've heard from people, so I'm sure if you chose it, you'll really like it. And I ended up not choosing that one just because I have so much mascara right now, I, I cannot do any more mascara right now. And then the second option was the Laura Geller Cinnamon and Spice Eyeshadow Palette, which retails for $45. And then the third option was the Dr. Brandt Skincare Pores No More Pore Purifying Cleanser, which retailed for $36, which I, I believe I have that one. I'm not sure, but a lot of people have said that it is very, very good. And then the next option was the Dr. Brandt Skincare Pore Dermabrasion. I know I have that. I've yet to try it, but I've heard really good reviews on it. Dr. Brandt is such a good brand. And then the Lily Sadoe Maroon Velvet Headband for $49, which a headband looked cute, but I don't really wear headbands that often. So that's why I kind of passed on that one, but it did look definitely really cute. So I was kind of like, huh, what do I want? What do I want? I don't need any more mascara. I don't need any more skincare at the time. And the headband just kind of seemed like something I probably wouldn't use. So I went ahead and I chose the Laura Geller Cinnamon and Spice Eyeshadow Palette. So Honestly, I'm always excited to get a palette. So if there is a palette option, I will take it. And I don't even think I have a Laura Geller palette. So I'm really excited to be able to try it. I've seen some people online that got it saying that they really liked it. And it does look very beautiful. I mean, look at this. Yeah, it's definitely a nude palette, you know, just kind of a plain Jane boring palette. But honestly, for your everyday use, I think this will be very pretty. Love it for the holidays. You know, I think it looks really nice. And if the formula works good, then why not, right? Really cute. Now, I don't want to swatch it just because I might not end up keeping this. I might gift it to somebody or whatnot, but it is really pretty, I think. Oh, and these shimmers look gorgeous. I might end up keeping it, though, because like I said, I do not have a Laura Geller palette, and I really would like to try it and see what I think, but I got to think it over. I got to start. I did a lot of Black Friday shopping, too, so I got to figure out what I want, what I don't want, and we are going to be doing lots of giveaways coming soon. So again, this retail for $45. Now on to option number four. Now, if you are a annual member, you get to pick five of your eight items. And if you are a seasonal member, I believe it's only three items that you get to pick from. So this next these next ones are items that if you are an annual member, you get to pick from. So you got the choice between the Tula Skincare Rose and Glow Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm for $30. And we did see one of these in BoxyCharm a while ago, the blue one. 
This one is the pink version, and I do really love that one. Everybody that tried it really loved it. Loved Tula as a brand in whole, so it, this definitely was a good option. And then next was the Mucklux Cabin Socks for $25. I love Mucklux. I love the cabin sock things. I always have slippers on or slipper socks on. Definitely a good option. And then the Voyeur Hair Care Rhythm of the Rain Hair Mask and Scalp Detox. Now, if you like stuff like that, I'm sure it'll be nice. I love getting stuff like that, but for in my box is one of my options. Probably not something I would want to pick. And um, the next one was the Flight Mode Skincare High Altitude Hydrating Mask for $39. Oh, and I'm sorry, I passed over one. And then the Kate Spade New York Workout Socks for $24. Now, the workout socks look cute, but I decided to pass on those. And so the three that I was kind of stumped on for this one were the Kate Spade Workout Socks the Tula Skin Care, and the Mucklux. Now, honestly, for how much I love Mucklux and socks and stuff like that, I'm surprised I didn't pick that. And honestly, I'm kind of upset that I didn't because I saw how cute they were. I thought they were going to be like really thin socks, and then I saw other people opening them, and they actually look like really good quality. So I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I didn't pick those. Gosh darn it. I'm going to have to go on eBay and see if somebody's selling them so I can buy them because they look so comfy. But I ended up going ahead and doing the Tula because I already knew that I loved this in the blue version, but I'm kind of like, geez, why didn't I get those socks? I love slippers. I love slipper socks. I always have to be warm. You should see me. I am like a bundled up Eskimo in my house all winter long because I am always freezing. I have my slippers or my slipper socks on and my bathrobe on. And yeah, there is nothing sexy about it. I will tell you that right now, but I'm warm, so that's all that matters. <laughs> so I went ahead and did this, and again, it retails for $30. And I don't know. Honestly, this feels good on, and a lot of people have said that they've noticed, like, lighter under the eyes. And I don't know. I think I have, truthfully, but maybe it's just me thinking I do. But either way... I'm really excited for this. I love the scent of rose. Let's see if it smells like it. Definitely smells a little into rose, but not overpowering. So I am really excited to try the pink one. I'm sure it'll be the same, but regardless, this is a good option. I just kind of wish I would have did the socks now, but that's okay. Now for option number five for annual members, you had the choice between the Butanique Beauty Guardian Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels for $25, and I do really like eye gels, so, you know, I'm sure that these would definitely be a good option. And then the next one was the set of four E. Perry cutting boards for $19.99. And those look really nice as well, honestly, if you need cutting boards. And they look nice and thin for storage as well. So I do like that. And then for option number three is the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Dry Shampoo Powder, which retails for $24. So I went ahead and I was like, well, you know, I like the eye gels, but probably don't need them. And then the cutting boards, um, I definitely don't need those because I did get a new set of cutting boards not too long ago. So I do really like dry shampoo, even though before I tried dry shampoo, I said I would never use it. And now it is one of my things I have to have on hand all the time. I really like it. And so I went ahead and did the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Dry Shampoo Powder. And I'm really excited to try this. I've never tried a powder before of dry shampoo, just the spray. So I have heard that people say you got to watch how much of this you use and stuff, probably so you don't get that cast. But definitely going to give it a go and see what I think. Now the next options are options that 
FabFitFun picked for me and will pick for everybody. So we have between the Wish Lip Scrub in Vanilla Bean for $20, the Paradox Lucky Stars Blemish Patches for $18, and then the Below the Belt Croc Card Case for $35. So FabFitFun picked for me the Vanilla Bean Lip Scrub for $20, which I was hoping I would get. I would have liked the Paradox um, patches as well, but I do have a lot of those on hand that I picked up from, I don't know where I got them, but I found a bunch of them for a really good deal. So I love lip scrubs. This is definitely a good option for me. Always exfoliating my lips every single day. I never miss it. In the morning, at night, I exfoliate my lips all the time. I love the feeling of it. So this is definitely my option. So here's what it looks like. And, oh, it smells so good. It smells like vanilla bean. I love vanilla bean. So this was a good option that FabFitFun picked for me. Very, very excited for this one. The next option here, FabFitFun had to choose between two different items for us. The Daily Concepts, Daily Concepts Daily Facial Dry Brush or the Nor Jewelry Ombre Leopard Scrunchies. So um, the... Facial brush was $20 and the scrunchies were $25. And I ended up getting the scrunchies. So I'm so excited. I am definitely a scrunchie girl. I for sure will wear these and I love leopard prints. You know, honestly, I'm kind of freaked out right now because they know me pretty well. They gave me a lip scrub. I'm addicted to lip scrubs. I love scrunchies. It's like FabFitFun knows me <laughs> and I love it. So, would I ever pay $25 for a scrunchie? No. Yeah, I'm definitely cheap, so I would never pay $25 for these, but I'm very happy that I got them because that brush I probably wouldn't have used. So, this is a very good option for me, and I will show you up close what these look like. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Now, they are very thin. Definitely not worth $25. Um, these, I would not pay more than a dollar for a piece. I'd say I'd pay maybe maybe $2.50 for the three of them, truthfully. But am I happy I got them? Yeah, definitely. Over the brush, for sure, in a heartbeat. I do love scrunchies, so I will definitely use these. Oh, and we did get a little snack in here. We got a kind bar. So I do like these. Really, really nice to get a little treat. Now the last category for number eight, we had between, or FabFitFun had between three items to choose from for us. The Aesthetica Liquid Eyeliner for $21. The London Town Get Well Nail Recovery for $20. And then the Phase Zero Making Moves Blusher, which retails for $27.50. And I ended up getting, let's see, I think it's the Phase Zero. It's wrapped up here. So I am really happy for this option. I mean, the liquid eyeliner would have been good too for me, but... I always like trying new blushes and it does have a little mirror in here and here is what the shade looks like. Really pretty. I will definitely use this. So I believe that was the last of what I got in my FabFitFun. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to do a recap on the items I got, give you a total retail value, and my final thoughts on the 2020 FabFitFun Winter Box. The first item were the Kate Spade earrings, and then the, the second item was the Impressions Vanity Mirror. The third item was the Laura Geller Sugar and Spice Palette. The DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Dry Shampoo Powder. The Wish Lip Scrub in Vanilla Bean. 
the Noor Jewelry Leopard Ombre Scrunchies, the Tula Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm, and the Phase Zero Blusher. And that brings our grand total for all eight of our items to $284.50. And I paid $44.99 for the whole box. So is it worth it? Definitely. 100% for sure worth it and then some. I got some amazing items in here. Stuff that is so worth the money. That mirror alone would have covered what we paid for the box. And then we pretty much got all of this other stuff pretty much for free if you think about it. And I got lots of stuff that I'm definitely going to use that I'm really going to enjoy. I signed up for FabFitFun after waiting forever to actually pull the trigger. And I am very excited I did. I cannot wait for the next season to come. And I love even the add-ons that they do. I've done add-ons twice now since I've been a member. And they have some really good stuff on there. I cannot wait to see what the spoilers will be for the next box. So guys, what did you choose for your box if you are a subscriber? Are you maybe thinking about subscribing? I know it took me a while to finally do it, but I am really happy that I did. And I definitely think paying up front is nice so that way... It's kind of out of the way and already done and I don't have to think about it for a year, which is nice. So yeah, I'm really excited for the next season to show up and I can't wait to hear all of your thoughts down below. I do have many, many more videos to come. Sorry, I've been kind of late on them. I had some issues with a bunch of stuff going on lately. And now I am here ready to rock. Also with my post office, none of my mail coming in. It's just been hectic. So I'm finally starting to get my mail rolling in, even though it's the end of the month, of course. I'm hoping next month will be way better. But with that being said, friends, I hope wherever you all are, you stay safe, stay healthy, and I really hope I see you in my next video. Bye!